Hey guys, welcome to the You'll Be One channel and thank you for joining me today. We're going to get right into this look. I'm priming my eye with the L'Oreal True Match in Deep Medium just to make sure I have a nice base for my shadows. I'm also going to set this, um, this concealer with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm just going to put it all over to make sure I'm going to get a nice, clean, smooth palette. I'm coming in with this transition color from MAC. I'll try to put all of the um, the products that I'm using at the bottom because I'm just winging it right now with this uh, voiceover. I'm coming in with this. This is actually a deep purple from my, uh, it's actually a MAC, MAC palette also. I'm going right into the crease with this deepest purple that's on this palette and this is the purple times nine palette from mac and i'm just gonna uh go right into that crease sit in this color and getting it as intense as i can in that um, crease area i really didn't know which way i was going with this look so i was just kind of winking it yeah and so now i'm going back into the uh on the brow bone well between the brow bone and the crease with that transition color and so now i just decided to cut out um a half cut crease still not really knowing where i'm going with this look but i figure with a half cut crease you really can't go wrong and I'm using that same concealer that I used to uh, conceal my eye or I used as a, a base for my eye, that L'Oreal True Match in Deep Medium. And after I get this done, I decided to reach for my Makeup Addictions palette. And we're going to go into the pinks. I wanted it to be bright. So I reached for my pink, the pinky shade that's in that palette. Those uh, palettes don't have colors, I don't think. And if they do, I'll put them down in the description box. So now I'm just patting this beautiful pink popping color into the uh, corners on up about halfway to my lid. And I'm pressing and patting, not really swiping or anything because I wanted this color to be very, very intense. Next, I'm reaching into that blue beautiful blue, sky blue looking color. It does have some sparkle in it. And I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And those two colors together are like pow. It's like cotton candy, baby. And so now I'm going back into that MAC Purple Times 9 palette. And I am reaching for that lavender looking color that's in there. And you know all MAC colors, uh, palettes have colors uh, on there. And I can definitely put that one down in the description box. I'm going back into that Makeup Addictions palette and there's like a reddish brownish color in there that I thought would really make that uh, make these shadows pop and so I decided to add it. Now I am just going under my eyebrow with um, a little a light lighter brown lighter <laughs> I can't talk uh, concealer and then I added a little sparkle to it now I'm just gonna uh, just blend that all out. I am using guys I found this liner at the Walmart marker is called the Maybelline Master Graphic uh, Eyeliner. It's by Eye Studio, but it's a Maybelline. And I love the way that it does my, um, my wing liner. I wanted to do a bit of a dramatic liner on this look. And I just love the way that it turned out using this. I am using a um, foundation today that I've used before in previous videos. This is the... This is the... What is this? Oh, the Clinique. This is the Clinique Stay Matte uh, All Free Makeup that I told you guys about uh, before that I got for free. And this is in the color Sienna. And I am um, I am going to highlight today. And this is the Cafe. Um, this is in Cafe. It's the Maybelline Fit Me. This is one of my favorites. Uh, one of my favorite concealers to use as an under eye concealer. I also like to use it to clean up the line uh, that I put um, for my wink liner. Just to make it a little bit more precise, I am using the Real Technique sponge. It is a bit damp, which helps your uh, concealer to just um, uh, blend a little bit more evenly. And I conceal under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. I really don't... Um, highlight my forehead that too often and I am setting my everywhere that I concealed with with the Ben Nye banana powder 
also did a little bit of a reverse contour in which I forgot to take some of the powder off, but that's all good. Uh, for my contour today, I actually reached into an eyeshadow palette, that Makeup Addictions palette, and I did not know that it was going to be that intense, but hey, sometimes you just got to let them have it. I'm also using that Format Frost to bronze it up just a little bit, and I'm going to use my It Cosmetics powder brush to add my Lancome uh, powder just to kind of tone down my highlight and to set my entire face. And this is in the color 520 Suede, also coming in to do a bit of a contour on that nose, honey. Yes, get it, girl. I'm using the Urban, Con Urban Decay Perversion um, Mascara. Also added some lashes to this look. And guys, since I have been doing the uh, mascara before my lashes, it has really helped with the application of these lashes. I don't know where I have been without doing that and now it's so much easier for me. Whoop whoop. Go girl. And now I'm just going to the bottom with that uh, trans those couple of those transition colors that I used uh, at the top. And if you can see, you can see that powder that I did not wipe off. It's almost on my ear, but eventually I did see it, but it was not during the filming of this video. <laughs> and so I'm just adding those colors to my waterline to make this look look a little bit more complete. For the tear ducts, I'm coming in with that lavender color. And I love that lavender color. And for my waterline, I am using a black. It's actually a black uh, eyeshadow. I just dipped, I kind of wet my brush and I just uh, dipped it in the eyeshadow, adding a little bit more mascara to my bottom and to, uh, to my top lashes to blend them up. I'm using this beautiful purple color. This is a color that I got from the drugstore and I cannot remember the color, but I will definitely put it down in the uh, description. It's either, I think it might be Ruby Kisses or, you know what, let me, let me not say a name because I really don't know. And this is the finished look, guys. This is where, this is what we ended up with and I'm kind of feeling this cotton candy looking up and look who joined the party. Hey, Shelby. Hey, everybody. Well, you better. You gonna show him how to do it? Why? Shelby, put your makeup on. Let me see. Okay. 